Hey, fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Man Corps. Excited to be with you today. We're going to cover a topic that is about personal development, and uh, it's going to apply to both your professional life and your personal life, and that is less is more. So, if you are new here, the Man Corps is a community for men digging to the core to find out who they really are, what it is that they really want, and who it is that they really want to become. Consider subscribing and joining the community, Building Better Men for the Future. So, today's topic again is less is more. And what do I mean by that? Well, we're living in an age now where, Jesus, it is just loud. Digitally loud, it is visually loud, it is visibly loud, like it's just that we got a lot coming at us. And what I've really come to understand is the paradox of choice is actually a problem. So there's too many choices, there's too many distractions, there's too many things coming at us. And, you know, I think you could probably make a pretty good strong argument for the fact that that creates a lot of unhappiness and a lot of uh, unrest in people. Uh, I personally see it that way. So, you know, there's a lot of community members and there's a lot of people that kind of come together around the concept of minimalism. And though this is going to be a little bit a little bit different, there, there's a lot of similarities between less is more. So let's cover this in, uh, in a few different ways. So when you're at work and you are covering a topic, if you're giving a presentation, if you are, um, you know, if you're discussing something with, a, with your manager or a coworker, typically one of the things that you'll see people do is over explain things. They'll oversell things. They will, you know, they'll over, they'll just overdo it for lack of a better way of explaining it. You know, they'll, they'll say in 35 words what five words would do. And what I would encourage you to do and what I've really found a lot of value in doing is giving less more or give, giving less and having that be something that let me back up for a second. So when I say less is more, if, if you can cover a topic or if you can have a discussion and you can respond and, and you can and state your point, if you can make something clear in, you know, 10 words as opposed to, you know, 25 or 35, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you appear more confident, more focused and more present in the conversation or present in the presentation, present in the, in the exchange, whatever it may be. Now that's important because if you've ever been sitting in front of a presentation or been listening to a, a, a you know a speaker or or you've ever been having a discussion, somebody that you know you're talking to suddenly like they just can't wrap it up. They can't make a point. They can't you know finalize what they're trying to to communicate, and suddenly you've lost like all sight on what the fuck they were even talking about. So it's important to remember that if you can get your point across very concise, you're going to appear a lot more certain, a lot more confident, and a lot more knowledgeable, and a lot more trustworthy. You know, when you pack a lot of extra words in a lot of fluff, it's going to make you appear like you're trying to cover something up, that the, you're a little bit more on the devious side, that you're coming from a, an insecure place, again, trying to patch it up a little bit. So if you can be more concise with how you come across in your delivery, in your communication, that's going to, that's going to do a number of really positive things for your interactions and your relationships. And that's going to be at work. Well, so let's take this over to the personal side. Now, if you're having a conversation or if you're having an exchange or if you're, uh, you know, the best prob the probably the best example is when you look at men and women. So on average, women say about 2000 words per day or no, excuse me. On average, women say about 4000 words per day. And an average guy says about a thousand words per day. So that's a one to four ratio. And you know, women, they're just, they're, they're communicators, they're, they're, they're bonders. They want to connect. They got to verbalize. They talk about their problems. Guys, we don't, we internalize the shit. We got to go to the cave. We got to figure it out, you know, and we, we don't like to like verbalize and talk about it. So when you're dealing with a woman, can you imagine like having a conversation and the both of you are both at 4,000 words per day? I mean, to be, to be totally transparent and, and honest with you, like that is not going to make a, a woman feel safe. You know, 
other than the fact that you're probably going to slip up and say something really stupid and put your foot in your mouth and get in a whole heap of fucking trouble, you know, she's not going to feel as safe because again, you're going to be coming off as you're trying to cover something up. You're a little bit more deceitful. You're coming from a place of, you know, untrustworthiness in her eyes. So when you're able to be more concise, be more congruent, be more certain and be more directed with your communication and your exchanges, you're going to appear a lot more attractive and, you know, less is more is, is the same kind of way that you would look at, you know, we kind of want the things that are, that are harder to attain in life. You know, if you have five choices and you don't really know which one to pick from because they're all very similar, that's very different than having two or three choices or one choice. So the paradox of choices is that there's just too many and it's, it's not, you don't value them as much as you do when you have less of them. You know, scarcity does create value. So when you're not saying as much and when you're not giving as much out, and I don't mean value, we're not restricting to the extent that it's, it's uh, being mischievous or being devious or, or being deceitful with people. It's just, it, it, it's just a way of cleaning up your communication and your interactions because again, scarcity creates value. So when people feel like they kind of got to earn it a little bit, they're going to value it more. So in any given situation with whether it be with women or whether it be with uh, your coworkers or your boss or whatever it may be professionally, anytime that you make a point or the things that you do say, even if there's a group of people talking around you and, 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 you're, and you're a little bit more on the quieter side, what you'll notice is that the, the times that you do speak up and the times that you do chip in on the conversation, while everybody else was talking and probably nobody else was listening to what the fuck everybody else was saying, you know, that's a prime example of like, you know, people just talking too much. The times that you chip in on the conversation when everybody else is talk, talking, what you'll notice is that everybody else will, will really stop and tune in. Now, why is that? That's because you've been quiet. You've been taking it all in. And as a matter of reciprocity, and because you've been, you know, again, taking it in and you haven't been talking, the times that you do talk because it's less, scarcity creates value, you're going to really perk up their ears and they're really going to pay attention because less is more. So again, whether you're dealing with a woman or you're dealing with dating relationships, whether you're dealing with your boss or manager, coworkers, clients, uh, professionally, in both in both areas, you want to you want to communicate less, or you want to communicate more concisely. I shouldn't say less because communication is important. Just essentially, if you can get it done in ten words, do it in ten. Don't do it in fifty. Um, you know, think of how you were talking to other people. I'm probably coming off like this now because I can't quite wrap up the fucking topic here, but. Just, just think of examples when you were having conversations with people or you were sitting in a presentation or talking to somebody, you know, you're just like, okay, I, I missed the point. Like, I don't even know what the hell this was even about. And had they been more directed and more focused and more concise in their speech, you would have certainly perked up. You would have certainly listened and bought into more because it appeared more valuable and that person would have appeared more certain and trustworthy than they would have had they gone on and on and on diary of the mouth like I've had today. But I hope that that's a tip that helps you. I would give it a try uh, just for a week um, and, and see, see how people respond. You know, if you feel the need to kind of like respond to things, you don't have to respond to everything. Every once in a while, just like dial it back. And when you would normally respond, don't feel like you have to. If people are chatting, you don't feel like you have to, you know, pitch in on it. Give it a try. Add your comments and, and tell me what you guys think. You're going to notice a big shift in the people around you especially. Um, but add your comments. Please like the video, share the video, and do share the channel with anybody that you think would be good contributors here at the Man Corps. If you have a problem or a challenge that uh, you'd like me to help out with or cover in a future newsletter, please send me an email at themancorpproject at gmail.com. i got to run, fellas. But again, less is more, and I will see you on the next video. Cheers.